Yes, thank you, Bruno. Thank you a lot for your kind invitation. Thank you, Manos Manos, he, and all the team around Manos, because we know that uh, the secretary, the sponsor, are very important to develop this shoulder course. So my topic today is to prove that uh, on the button is better than screw. This is my disclosure. You know that uh, Laurent Lafosse described the first technique of full arthroscopy 13 years ago. It's a long time. With two screws, Pascal Boileau with one screw. It was a Bristol procedure. And uh, after, in 2010, Pascal Boileau described uh, with a screw, a cannulated screw, a bank card uh, combined with Bristol. So when you read the literature, you see that uh, this is a very nice technique regarding recurrent dislocation because there is no dislocation after five years, only one subluxation. But 10 patients return to the operating room. And what is the reason why they return to the operating room? Eight cases, they remove the screw. On one case, arthritis, free hematoma, this is complication. But more important is the screw. So, uh, Janes Anjas Kirchner, who is a very famous surgeon in Germany, he did uh, the same technique on the 10% of revision during that hardware, osteolysis on non-union on problem with the screw. So, Pascal with the uh, Bristol Latarge, he operated, uh, he reoperated four patients, he removed the screw and he did a soft tissue repair. But this technique is, uh, is very effective because you see that there is a 80%, 89% of stable fixed no recurrent dislocation. So maybe the screw could be too proud, too long. Maybe it's difficult technique. You listen, the previous presentation was, was very modest and very clear. Sometimes it's too oblique, sometimes it's too wide. And if you use uh, this technique without guide, I think that the, the learning curve is very important because by arthroscopy, you have a 2D dimension. It's not like uh, your eyes with 3D dimension. And it's a reason why it's very, very difficult to have a good position of the coracoid process. And uh, sometimes it's too lateral and you see that the risk of arthritis. Sometimes it's too medial and it's not enough for the stabilization of the shoulder. So there are many nerves, of course, and there is a risk of uh, compression of the suprascapular nerve. So if you want to summarize regarding the screw, if you use a full arthroscopic technique with two screws, you have a risk of revision in 6 to 10%. It's the reason why in 2013 I developed a technique to try to improve uh, uh, this technique. The first, I use a specific dedoic guide on coracoid guide because I think that the positioning is easy. And uh, I prefer double cortical button device or one cortical button device. This is a lock system and I developed at the beginning with Biomet and now with uh, Vims. Why I use cortical button? In my experience, there is uh, no reason to go to the operating room because this is a, there is a self-locking device, there is less risk of bone fracture. We do small holes into the coracoid process 2.9 and uh, the material is very small and we didn't remove any button. We use two cortical buttons if you want uh, to reproduce the latarge with a big uh, lack of bone, more than 10% or 15%. In this case, I use a big coracoid bone graft with two cortical buttons. But if there is a, a young athlete, for example, with a 10% of lack of bone on the glenoid or a small heel sac, I do a bancard procedure, but I do augmentation with one uh, piece of bone, a cortical button, one cortical button for the sling effect of the conjunct tendon. So with this technique, it's not necessary to have a medial portal because you, you pull from uh, posterior to anterior the button and uh, I don't use any portal medial to the conjunct tendon. I, I think that there is less risk for the brachial plexus. So regarding the, the concept, you have a video here. Okay. We, we pull the coracoid block from anterior to posterior and uh, the positioning of the coracoid block is guided automatically by the strength through the subscapularis which is maintained open. 
So in my practice, this is uh, between 2013 and 16, I did for 132 Latarget with Bancart procedure. And uh, this is by criteria, I use recurrent anterior dislocation, bone defect more than 10%, it sucks. And uh, I use some time for failure of uh, previous uh, Bancart procedure. I excluded in this series osteoarthritis, a girl lesion on hyperlaxity. First intention after failure, I did uh, after failure of Bancard bipolar on one case of Latarge. We use systematically a CT scan with 3D reconstruction because it is very important to evaluate the shape of the coracoid process because many times the orientation is uh, very anterior, sometimes it's curved, sometimes it's small, and I think that is very important to define preoperatively if you want to do full arthroscopic Latarge, the shape uh, of the coracoid process, because the difficulty is to have a flat abrasion of the inferior part to have a perfect matching between the coracoid process and the glenoid anterior rim. It's the reason why I think it's important. So in this uh, series, I have 5% of revision. Uh, five, uh, I, revi I revise uh, with uh, the reason of avulsion of trauma of early sports, and I revise with Eden Ibinet by arthroscopy. I had one hematoma, one infection on 12 patients uh, kept an apparition test. My first complication, because it's very important to learn, what is this? This is a non-union, because I think that the matching was not very perfect. I have an avulsion of the coracoid process because he did sports after two weeks. There is no uh, very, very nice result regarding recurrent dislocation, but in my series, I have no neurological complication and no hardware removal. I think that regarding the healing of the bone, this is a problem in my experience, and it's the reason why I develop a assisted arthroscopic uh, technique. If you don't do a perfect matching, you have not 100% of healing. This is not the problem of the under button, it's the problem of complementary uh, surface of the bone between the coracoid process and the coracoid. And it's not so easy to prepare with 2D reconstruction because it's very inferior. Even you use the arthroscope 70 degrees, I think that is not uh, so easy. We validate the, the, the guide because uh, we have no problem of lateral or, or, or medial positioning of the, of the bone graft. And uh, it's the reason today I continue to do latarge on Bocart with full arthroscopy or RCC arthroscopy. <laughs> And you see that uh, is uh, more than 70% of my activity. And uh, it's important that when you have a, not a big bone loss, but this is an athlete, like a rugby player, for example, I do a bone card procedure. I augment with a, a little bone graft. I fix with one under button, extra articular, because I think that the, the the increase of the surface of the bone is important for the rugby player and the sling effect of the conjunct tendon is also very important. And uh, you can use, of course, two buttons if you have a lack of bone and you, you can do two uh, buttons like a latarge. So two button is very useful because there is no rotation but it's a longer operation than uh, one on the button. There is a place for two buttons, there is a place for one button. For example, the young athlete after 10 dislocations or teenagers, first dislocation, for example, 16 years, 16 years, rugby player, two or three dislocations. If you do a bone card repair because there is no bony lesion, you have a risk of 10 or 15% of recurrent dislocation. It's the reason why I do bone graft for augmentation of, uh, of the bone card repair. So this is an example here. With CT scan, it's very important to do after six months because sometimes six months is necessary to obtain a healing. So the question why was why we abandoned screw? I abandoned screw since uh, seven years ago because I think that uh, there is less risk of bone fracture of the coracoid process because the, the drill of the holes are 2.9 or 2.5. We didn't remove any on the button. This is a self-locking device. I don't do any knots developed by Vims. We don't use any medial portal. You use, medial portal is very useful if you use a screw to be parallel to the glenoid joint. 
if you use a cortical button, the strands, when you pull, the bone follows the direction of the strands. And we have no more recurrent dislocation. If you have a good matching, we have 100% of healing bone. And I think that is very important for the patient, a good healing bone to have a good stability of the joint. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome to Paris maybe next year. <laughs>